Welcome to my art channel. I'm happy that you're there with me today because today is episode 99. Can you believe this? Um, the next video will be on Saturday, um, the video 100. So we are going to celebrate the video 100. So I will do a giveaway um, of the painting that I will do on Saturday and you will have almost the whole week to enter your comments and tell me where you're from, where you're watching me. So uh, yes, uh, I will talk to you a little bit more of that uh, giveaway on Saturday. So you will have to till next Friday to enter. Yeah, that's it. So now today, uh, I want to do something special totally different, abstract, and I want to work on a big canvas. It's uh, actually a 24 by 30 inch canvas. Uh, this is a big canvas, an inch and a half deep from Artist Loft. And first of all, I want to do it, I want to cover it, the whole, the whole canvas with black paint. And then I'm going to come over it and do some resin uh, design. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot different of what you're used to, in, to seeing me do. <laughs> I'm having a hard time speaking today again. Okay, so <laughs> what, I was, what I was saying is that I will cover the canvas uh, with black and then I'm going to come over uh, on the black and do some designs with resin and then you will see what I'm up to so yeah don't move guys I'm gonna bring it down and I'm gonna flood my canvas and then you will see what I'm up to okay see you in a second guys don't move all right guys like I said a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrapped canvas as you can see I'm not ready I'm putting all my gloves on <laughs> And uh, as you can see, I've already painted uh, the sides of my, the edges and sides of my canvas because I wanted it fully covered. And now I will cover this canvas with black. Artist Loft Black. It's a uh, 25% paint, 50% Floetrol, and 25% water. So this is pretty thin paint. Okay, how am I going to start? Yeah, I think I'm going to start over here.
right guys so this doesn't look like much right now but uh, we will let this dry and I will come back to you right after it's totally dry see ya all right guys so as you can see sorry for the glare <laughs> I'll move over here yeah Is that better not really huh okay so as you can see um dried beautifully all black all the sides are pretty too and now I'm gonna work with resin on this black piece here and I will show you my resin it's crystal resin sorry I have some leaks here on my bottles and I decided to do a heart shape with resin and crystal resin sent me these um, pigments especially made for resin so I decided I would use gold look at that guys this is oops <laughs> I'm dripping all over the place it's beautiful it's very shimmery and I again <laughs> I think this is gonna look great so I will put you back on my tripod and show you what I'm up to in just a second guys I'll be back all right guys so you can see better like this <laughs> that uh, this this guy here dried beautifully I'm very happy with it and now this is what I'm up to I cut it out a heart shape in a coloplast. Uh, coloplast is like uh, plastic cardboard. Here I added um, two sheets of paper uh, because uh, I'm afraid I could drip, you know, because this cardboard here, uh, coloplast, stops here. So if I drip, it's gonna fall on the paper and it's gonna be fine because I don't want it to go elsewhere than this heart shape here. So yes, I'm going to just uh, drizzle some um, gold resin and then when I'm finished, I'm going to take this off and we should have a heart shape drizzled with gold. It's that simple guys. I think it would make a beautiful, um, well, could I say painting, <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, so I just have to center this a little bit more just to make it perfect. Okay, I think it's good now. To my eye it is. Maybe just a little bit over there. Okay, so I'm going to put... Uh, double-faced scotch tape underneath here just to make sure it won't move I think it's perfect now this way. Uh, let me take some glove and I'll be back with you. All right, guys. <laughs> Let's do this. I have no idea what I'm doing here. It's the first time I try this.
plenty. I think that's enough. I like that, guys. I really do. There's just a little blob here that gets to me. I don't know if I try to get it off a little bit, if, I, if it's going to work. Gonna try something here. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I think it looks great. So I will clean this up a little bit and I will take off the uh, cover blast. Okay, if you're asking yourself with what am I cleaning up this color plus with, it's um, rubbing alcohol. This takes all the resin off any surfaces. Of course, don't wait till it's dry to do this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, see how easy this is? Just to take that off there. Pretty simple. with this guys I think it looks great so let me bring you down for a close-up well guys <laughs> there we have it look how pretty this is I think that this is going to be very shiny once it's dried I think it's very pretty <laughs> I'm loving this guys you know sometimes simple is best so yeah this is what I had in mind um, so I will show you once it's dry guys totally dry and um, see you in a couple of seconds guys see ya well there we have it this is the dried results of the resin and it's pretty shiny look at that guys the ring light <laughs> we can see the ring light on this yeah I'm very happy this is exactly what I wanted to be and uh, there's my signature down there <laughs> so what do you think about this one guys tell me in the comments below and don't forget to watch Saturday's episode number 100 we will have a giveaway uh, of the um, painting that I'm gonna do on episode 100 so if you're interested guys <laughs> don't forget leave a comment tell me where you live and uh, of course if you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing and you could put a thumbs up too I always like that <laughs> so guys thank you so much for being there thanks for watching and until the next video au revoir